Hey there great people, I hope you're all doing absolutely brilliant. I'd just like to say from Friday, commiserations to the US team in the Football World Cup for being knocked out, because um, they are my second team. And well done to the, uh, sorry to England on beating Senegal 3-0. Uh, my dad come round at half six last night. England kicked off at 7pm uh, on Saturday, which was last night for me. And we beat Senegal 3-0 to go through to quarterfinals of the Football World Cup to face France on, I think it's on Saturday um, at 7pm again. As you can probably see as well, I'm still absolutely struggling. This seems to have grown, this abscess from yesterday, day before and day before that. It's, I've had it for four days now and it's killing me. So I'm pretty dull stuff at the minute on tablets, but needs must, as we say here in the UK. I think you all enjoyed my video the other day from Vice News Channel, uh, Living in the Desert in Mojave Desert. So I'm bringing you another great piece of content from Vice News. Uh, and this is current affairs news regarding the current and ongoing and frankly illegal Russian invasion of Ukraine. Uh, the video is called Russians are snitching on friends and family who oppose the war. I hope you enjoy. For me, this is the first time watching it. God knows what that says. <laughs> Sergei Klokov was one of the first people to be arrested under the new law that basically makes it a crime to criticize the war in Ukraine. He's facing between five and ten years in prison. What? Sergei Klokov worked as a driver at police headquarters in Moscow. But he was originally from Bucha, Ukraine. After Russia invaded his hometown, it's alleged he began telling co-workers what he was hearing from friends and family. How innocent civilians were being killed. Contradicting Russian propaganda about the war. But Kloko's phone was being tapped. He was arrested under a new law that bans spreading quote unquote deliberately false information about Russia's armed forces. Wow, let me just say something quick. You start tapping people's phones and you start getting arrested in five to ten years for criticizing an illegal war. To me, it sounds a lot like North Korea. In other words, you're not a human being anymore, you're a controlled puppet. Forbidden to even refer to the Kremlin's so called special military operation as a war. Klokov has been held in a detention facility away from his family, including his two young children. This hearing is to decide if he can be moved to house arrest while he waits for his actual trial. Наказание, домашний арест. Я его увидела еще первый раз за два месяца. Каждый день он, он у меня только в голове, каждый день. Don't blame your mother. Yeah. Здесь изложено учитывая высокую степень общественной опасности. Мы примем в глубоком деянии, а также данные его личности, пока я суд постановил. Удовлетворение ходатайства обвиняемого защитника об изменении глубокого мира посещения отказать, на лицо содержания по страже, где не могло хвостать. Ну, это не из костюм, really? Всего до четырех месяцев, до 30 суток, до 16 августа, до 2022 года. Do not even let uh, Vice News when you ask any questions. I bent you this country. At least 1,500 people have been fined under the new law. Around 70 more are facing prison. Almost anyone holding meetings or gathering information is considered suspicious. Our own crew was detained while filming in Moscow. What a load of shit. Russian President Vladimir Putin has encouraged this mistrust by claiming that some inside Russia are collaborating with the West to weaken and divide the No, country. you're just a horrible piece of shit. You are a traitor. 
как случайно залетевшую в рот мушку. The atmosphere of suspicion has led people to report friends to the police, students to snitch on teachers, and family members to turn in their own relatives. For some Russians, it's reminiscent of Joseph Stalin's great purge, when hundreds horrible. of thousands of people were shot and more than a million were sent to the gulag, often because of denunciations by people they knew. So fashion. Это отвратительно, отвратительно, что он а, вот это все поддерживается, что государство, оно стимулирует людей. Я думаю, что даже несколько лет пройти, несколько лет в этом повариться, в этом соку, чтобы потом вот уже созреть для Maybe. Вот, до уровня Советского Союза. Элмира Халитова was denounced by her own father because she opposes the war. He falsely claimed she was calling for Russians to be killed. She still has the recording of her father's call to the police. Her dad from the police. My daughter, Unbelievable. Her dad tried getting arrested for prison. Drunk, but the police still had her come in for questioning. What? Officers took her phone Why? and tried to find incriminating statements on her Instagram. But since the app is blocked in Russia, they couldn't even open it. <laughs> Good. <laughs> go for lack of evidence. Да, то есть он считал, что вот его долг прийти вот написать полицию, да, заявление. Нашел еще одного врага народа и предал его суду. Как повлияло на ваше здоровье? Очень плохо, у меня депрессия, конечно, усилилась. Война ее вообще yeah. обрубила, я думала, хуже не будет, но стало еще хуже. И мне, конечно, здоровье очень-очень ухудшилось. Очень ругала Россию Путина или еще что-то, как бы на это никто сильно не обращал внимания, но с началом военной операции shit, он же начал выкладывать в сеть мертвых наших солдат, над которыми украинцы надругались. Я его просил и много раз предупреждал, что если он не прекратит вот эти действия, я его так или иначе... Get a life and a proper job, mate. Политические взгляды расходятся. А разве человек э, заслужил из-за этого no. возможный уголовный срок? Но когда у нас э, есть внешний враг, это здесь уже никакая не политика. И Олег, получается, сейчас выступил на стороне наших врагов. А вы считаете, что Олега предатель? Ну, он как минимум сейчас предатель своей родины. This motherland they talk about all the time though, Russia. Motherland. What is it? What? A motherland of... run by a dictator called Vladimir Putin, who, to me, is an absolutely disgusting, despicable human being. Another type of Hitler. Uh, who's just murdering Ukrainians in their own country. 
by the thousands, hundreds of thousands, who even knows the numbers what are being put out, but yeah, it's just stupid. And people like this idiot informant are actually uh, going against people of his own country, the Russian, what is he, police detective that's facing five, ten years. Really? Get a freaking life. Russia needs to play at this. I'm not getting into politics or nothing, it's nothing to do with me, but the whole thing is disgusting from Russia. Well, Putin. And I'm not blaming the Ru Russian citizens, by the way. I know there's loads of Russian citizens. I think there was a poll done recently. I think about 80, 90% of a private, uncensored uh, poll was done who did not support the Rome leaders' actions, Putin's actions in Russia at all um, to do with them fighting Ukraine. That's not the law in Russia. Criticize the army, question the war in Ukraine, go to prison. Why? Despite her close call with the police, Elmira Khalitova is still saying what she thinks about the war on her Twitch stream. Where she keep on to going. By Good looking young lady as well. Keep on doing what you're doing, yeah? <laughs> Jack of Longbury. Jack of London. Stand up for what you believe in. Always in life. Yeah, good. I can't believe in anything like that or approve, yeah. Stand up for what you believe in, girl. You're doing a good job up to now, obviously. I'm Michael Lermont. That's why they're trying to shut you up. But it's not working. I really hope you enjoyed that anyway. I've done this obviously from Vice News again because a lot of you give me some really supportive comments from the last Vice News video, or the first one ever I did a few days back, which was living in the Mojave Desert, which I'll have pop up on the screen in a second. Um, if you're not subscribed, then please do so and support my channel. And please do check out my great content and playlists on this Paul B. Hossin 85. And also please do like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And by the way, Connie, uh, you said about sending a Christmas card. It takes around 10 days to two weeks to come from Minnesota to where I live for a Christmas card. And by the way, tomorrow I'm actually going to be sending some your way as well for you and your family, some Christmas cards in the mail or post. So look out for them in the next few weeks, okay? And to the rest of you, have a great rest of your day, evening, night, wherever you are. Thank you so much. Much love.